Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and today we're going to take apart this Nissan Leaf battery pack. Uh, I just got this from a salvage yard, and uh, even though it came from a junkyard, it does not mean it was an inexpensive piece of equipment. There's a 24 kilowatt lithium battery pack here, and I'm hoping that I can open it up and use the modules to upgrade my Vectrix electric motorcycle, uh, which I got at the beginning of this winter with a, a dead nickel metal hydride battery pack, and do an upgrade to lithium. Uh, I also know another guy who has a Vectrix. We want to see about upgrading his Vectrix as well, and then hopefully uh, any cells that are left over, uh, I can sell those and recoup a little bit of the cost that went into buying this in the first place. Uh, so let's come in close and we'll take a look at uh, what you need to do to take this battery apart. So of course, first of all, to start, no joke, safety first. Uh, this is the service plug, goes right in the middle of the pack, and with this pulled, it disconnects uh, a contactor in the middle, middle of the pack um, so that the battery pack can be removed from the car, worked on, that sort of thing. But also, inside here are live cells, and they have a charge. Uh, when I took apart the Mitsubishi iMeave battery pack, that was a dead, dead pack. So got to pay attention once we get to the cell level, but to start with, take out the darn service plug. So to start with, the main bolts that hold the cover on are these little guys. There's about two dozen of them around the perimeter of the cover, and those are 10 millimeter. So I'll start by taking all of those out with a 10 millimeter socket on my driver here. Do that about another 24 times. And then besides all those 10 millimeter bolts, there's also four of these kind of lifting or attachment points uh, around the battery. And right next to them is a little bit larger silver bolt. That's a 13 millimeter. You've got to take those out too. Four of those. And then also on the very front and back center, there's a stud coming up uh, with a nut with a washer belt right on it. That's also a 10 millimeter. So that's got to come off front and back. So basically now I got all the bolts out of the perimeter of this cover. So if I just kind of try to loosen and lift it here, um, I can feel there's a, a seal. I know these are weatherproof, so it's probably a big gasket around here. And I can lift the corners, but it feels like it's still held down in the middle. And if I look at uh, that big disconnect in the middle, uh, there's some screws we're going to have to take out here. And of course, they're fancy screws. So these here are tamper resistant screws. So what we need is a, uh, it's a Torx T30H. So this is a, it's a tamper resistant bit. Come on, focus, focus. I said, there we go. Um, so it's a, it's a Torx bit. It's a six pointed star, but then it also has a hole in the middle. The one I'm showing you is a number 40. Uh, the one I'm actually using is a number 30 Torx the Torx T30H. So here's a little bit better view of what the uh, what that actual screw looks like. So you can't use a regular uh, Torx because it's got that little dot in there. That's a tamper resistant feature, but a, a set of uh, bits like this, everybody should own who likes to avoid warranties. And then this uh, aluminum ring pulls right off. And then just uh, might be a little bit better view for you. Here's the battery pack. It's fairly large, weighs 600 pounds. Uh, so right in the middle, I took out those six screws. And then this pulls off. And it looks like that was the last thing holding the cover on. So I should probably be able to take the cover off now. OK, let's see if we can get the cover off. And again, it's kind of common sense time. Um, that is lethal voltages in there. Uh, so kids, don't try this at home. This, uh, don't go poking uh, metal tools in there and everything else. Cool. Nice. Okay, we got the cover off. This is pretty exciting to look inside. 
Uh, first of all, of course, anything with orange, that's the color code for a warning, do not touch, this will kill you. That's all high voltage wiring, even if um, it's little tiny skinny stuff, it uh, may be low current, but it's still high voltage. Uh, so the first thing I'll have to do here is figure out how to reasonably uh, disconnect the kind of all the main connections, break it down to more just a couple of cells at a time. And what I'm seeing up front here, uh, we've got four and then four, eight cells. So it's uh, two columns, four high. Over here, it's uh, two high each, but then in the back they're on edge. So if you count them up, it's actually uh, 24 cells for the whole front area and then 24 on back. So just by flipping them on edge, um, that's a lot more energy density in the back. Of course, that would be uh, you know up under the back seat. The lower area would be where your feet go. Um, but what's interesting is that if you built an electric car that was uh, you know a little thicker, a little higher up off the ground, um, you could actually pack a whole heck of a lot more batteries in there. It's just kind of a view through the middle. There's that service plug. And you can see these are all uh, bus bars that are uh, covered with the, the plastic insulator. It looks like it all just kind of snaps apart. I'm saying it's lots of steel in here. It looks, looks like it should be pretty easy to disassemble. We've got a structural steel uh, cross piece here in black. But it looks straightforward. It's just a, a matter of disconnecting um, all the electrical connections safely and then uh, removing the cells in blocks from the battery. Okay, I think that's uh, as far as we're gonna go in this video here today. Um, I'm pretty busy with work the next couple of days. I apologize in advance if I can't put out these videos on a, a little bit more of a regular schedule. I just like to work on these projects and I, I do them as I can afford to and as I have time to be able to do them. Uh, I gotta say I'm pretty excited about this. The, the weather seal on this looks great. Uh, the car that this came out of was low mileage and it looks uh, just super pristine and clean inside this battery pack. So uh, subscribe, comment, leave a message, and tune in next time.